What is going on, family? My name is Seeds, and this past stream, I ranked your favorite EDM DJs. Here's what happened. Alrighty, y'all. Hold on, I need to get into character. I need to get into character. I need to get into character. What is happening, y'all? Let's roast this out of EDM today. Oh yeah, this is the EDM DJ tier list. It's got a lot of greats. It's got a lot of legends who uh, are pretty good. <laughs> Definitely uh, some fall into my taste more than others, but we don't care about that today. We're here because we're mad. We're trying to change the state of the electronic music landscape. We want the underground to be above ground and we want to rinse and repeat. Let's get into this. All right, Let, let's, let's really attack this with the best we can. We want it to be goaded with the sauce. At A tier, we have a solid appetizer. Up next, we have better than mid. Then we have mid. And then we have pretty bad. We're going to add one more actually to this. Red is like, how are you still here? All right, up first. Now this is, uh, I'm going to preface this. This is going to be serious. I love all these artists. I mean, with peace and love, I'm just talking about my 10 years of loving EDM. This is where this is coming from, so we can get back to it. I, I, I This is with peace, peace and love. This is all memes. Afrojack. So Afrojack recently, I would say, started making a comeback working with Black V-neck. I forget what the title of their track is, but I think it's kind of woke as Afrojack is one of the greats and is starting to trickle into the tech house scene, the like, the cool bass house scene. I would put Afrojack at mid, but he does have, he's better than mid. He's got classics, he's got takeover control, and then he's working with like people like Black Vina. Up next, we got Alice in Wonderland. Allison's a queen. If y'all know me, I'm like pretty house centric first. And then I appreciate Trap. I would say Allison's also better than mid for, for where I'm at. Allison's a freaking legend. We'll say solid app. We'll say Allison's a solid appetizer because Allison has been like around. She plays cello live and like is just a fantastic singer. I'm gonna put Allison solid app. I'm, I'm locking that in. Psytrance only. Okay, I don't know about that much. Oh. Okay, yeah, well, we have Armin Van Buren. Armin's still doing sick stuff. I feel like putting up trains pretty well. Isn't doing any stupid shit. Yeah, solid appetizer. Avicii is f***ing goaded with the sauce. We don't even need to talk about that. Bass Jackers is pretty bad. Borges? I kind of wonder how Borges is still here. I gotta say, I, I don't know how Borges is still around. I feel like just no cool music. I would put Cash Cash is a little better than Borges. Cash Cash is pretty bad. Base, yeah, Base Jackers and Cash Cash are pretty damn similar. Chainsmokers? I gotta say, I have a little soft spot for the Chainsmokers. They might be goaded with the sauce. But the Chainsmokers live sets go crazy. Sure, they make pop, but they were kind of the first in EDM to like do pop how like they do pop and then it felt like people like Cash Cash were chasing that bag. Chain smokers are goaded. Calvin Harris, you know what? Here's another hot take. Add a row above. Pure effing legend. So Avicii, you're going there. Calvin Harris. Chain smokers are goaded with the sauce. Dead mouse goaded with the fing sauce. You already know. Like, oh my lord. Dimitri Vegas and like Mike Mid is Maybe even pretty bad. But they run Tomorrowland, so mid. So that's pretty sick. The Don. Don Diablo. I was listening to a lot of Don Diablo with the homies at one point. So Don has a special place in my heart. I'm gonna hit Don in this solid app. Galantis is bad. Well, they're pretty bad. Because I enjoy I enjoy singing and sh they just kind of play Vegas and like headline. They got all their fucking drums on stage. I respect it. They're not, how are you still here? Hardwell doesn't even fucking exist anymore. My man said he's coming back like some epic comeback, but bro, you are not Swedish house mafia. How are you still here? You're a goat. Like you really are. Trust me. I'm sure Borges is too, but Hardwell, I'm putting you in how are you still here? 
because you did not approve RL Grime to use the Arcadia vocal, and that rubs me the wrong way. It's just not woke. Oh, Cascade. Oh my lordy lord. Cascade is goaded with the sauce. Do not fing at me. Cascade is so good. Redux is really innovative in my opinion. I think Redux is actually gonna start pushing house music in a cool direction three years down the line as like tech house starts to merge. I feel like Redux was like a year or two ahead of its time and we're gonna start getting like, it's not minimal, but it's kind of this like nostalgic badass. I'm gonna say minimal, but it's not minimal house. It's just the elements within it are like, it's very like straightforward, but like it um, I think Redux in a few years is going to be, people are going to look back on that project and be like, holy sh**, that's crazy. Cashmere? Cashmere. You have really good samples, but you're pretty mid. Kygo. Oh, -ho. Kygo. What are we going to do with you, Kygo? How is Tropical House still meta? Like, come on. What are we? 2011 EBC Day Club? No. How are you still headlining? Peace and love. I mean, I love Kygo. Marshmallow. This is going to be a really hot take. I'm going to preface this with, I do think the Marshmallow project is the most innovative project like ever in dance music. I'm not a huge Marshmallow fan. In fact, I have some PTSD with Marshmallow at my old job at the University of California, Riverside at the Recreation Center. I was an employee and every day, not every day, most days, I would open the rec center, the gym at 5 a.m. And do you want to know what was playing? Imagine waking up every day to this. Marshmallow is a solid appetizer because that project is f***ing legendary. Moshe Elysium is really a goat when it comes to business. And through my time at UCR, I really looked up to the Marshmallow project, really changed the landscape of dance music. Not my favorite music, not a big Marshmallow fan, but I am a fan of what they did with the project. No cap. Martin! Oh my God, don't get me started about Martin, come on, come on. Pure mother legend, dude. Animals will never get old. The play animals. Tech house? Big room in the tech house set. Only one place Martin can go, bro. And that's in the pure fucking legend. I'm not disrespecting the big room, bro. In fact, I'm saying Martin is a pure fucking legend. Continues to innovate. Did the big room route, did the pop route, converted to bass house for a little bit. Started getting a little techier. Changed the landscape of big room with stamped records. And Martin is a pure fucking legend. There's no doubt about it. Martin goes in the same categories as Vici, Calvin Harris, you know, up next is Odeza. And this is a tough one. If I'm gonna put them somewhere, I would say they're pure fucking legends. And that's because no one does what Odeza does. They're legendary. They are the only ones to do dance music, how they've done whole like marching band, drum corps type. Shit. Honestly, like, I don't think we'll ever get another Odeza ever. They have no misses. I think a few years down the line, when like the next generation gets into house music, to, or not house music, but like dance music. Oh, this is really gonna be the like standard. As festivals keep growing in popularity, people are wanna, uh, I want that like big show. And like Odessa always brings a big show, especially their Coachella sh and like that stuff. Nicky Romero. Now, Nicky Romero, I'm not too familiar with his music. He's been around for a while. Y'all, I use his plugin 30 times a day. The Nicky Romero side chain is pure fucking legendary porter robinson you sly sly dog there's like three ways we can look at this one is porter robinson we had at one point we had frat boy porter is this the porter robinson we know no way nah but he evolved he got long hair, beautiful man, just so great. All classics. I think the entire Porter Robinson discography is amazing. I think he's goaded with the sauce. I really, I love Porter. I love Porter. Rehab, how are you still here, bro? Rez was super inspired by people like Porter. Rez was super inspired by names like Skrillex, Dead Mouse. Rez 
for a few years really changed the landscape of dance music. I think she is still changing the lens of dance music. And I appreciate that. I think Rez has done a lot for women empowerment in the industry. Rez is a beast. Probably one of the best touring DJs right now. Got the cult of Rez behind her. Not many people have cults, you know, are able to get to that status. Rez is goaded with the sauce. Rez is really good. I think Rez has changed a lot in terms of taste. Bringing experimental music to the front. Rez is probably one of the most unique artists out there. And I really appreciate that. Works with Dead Mouse. I would put Rez in the same area as Dead Mouse. Virtual Riot. I'm not a big uh, headbanger, if you know me. I love vibes. I love house music. I love experimental music. Virtual Riot really did a lot in terms of dubstep, dance music. Pushed innovative, like really innovated on synthesis. Pretty much like broke serum in the way like a lot of people know it. Skrillex, pure legend. Pure no ifs, ands, or buts. Skrillex does everything. Everything. No miss. Name one miss in the Skrillex library. Steve Aoki, how the f here? The cake, it's not funny. It's not cool. Like, I don't know how his team stands there and is like, we're gonna fucking throw the cake. He likes, he likes cakes. I, all right, I'm not gonna knock him for liking cakes, right? I'm not gonna knock him for liking cakes. He actually had one good song I liked, so we're, we're moving him to pretty bad. <laughs> Send it is really good. I, I, I can't deny that. And that was like a year ago. I was, that might've been like 2020. Yeah, so two years ago, that was one of my most listened to songs. Swedish House fucking Mafia. Now, now we're talking. Their comeback, 2018 Ultra Music Festival in Miami. I was pants. No way around it. I was my pants. And I think all the music they've released is innovative. I think they are so knowledgeable in what they do. Obviously, you go back and listen to some of their tunes. Sure, maybe they didn't, they didn't age well, but you damn know I'm singing Don't You Worry Child, one, that other song they have every time. Unbelievable, truly. Tiesto's the pro, he's a fucking legend. He's a pure legend. I'm just going to say it. Tiesto's up there. I'm not going to deny it. At the same time, it's like Tiesto is both a pure fucking legend and like, how are you still here, bro? What do you do with this man? He's got bangers. He was a trance DJ, turned into EDM. Exactly, like I don't get his newer music. I, I like the okay, okay. The business is really good. I'm gonna say I fucking love the business, but there's just like no in between. It's like my man's is like what, 800 years old now. 53. <laughs> yeah, I feel that I. Def have him as a legend. Too much time and impact on music. So many genres crossed. I agree. We're gonna have to take a second for Timmy Trumpet. Okay, do y'all... I hope y'all know about this. This is a piece of dance music. This is history. I'm gonna let it run. This is what I think of Timmy Trumpet. Did you... Did you see that tongue action? Unbelievable. My man's got a, a tongue stronger than Fisher, and holy shit, that is so rare. Also, this fucking guy got up in front of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people and hit a tongue blast in front of the entire audience. Better than mid. That's the, the move you missed was here to here. Virtual Self is so good. Like, absolutely bonkers. I could see Virtual Self years down the line being pure f***ing legend. But for now, I'm not going to say uh, Porter's already there, you know? It's Porter. It's just goaded with the sauce. He's f***ing great. W and W. W and W. I know short stuff would put W and W in the pure legends. I know. I know. I know. I've been there. Maybe for a sec, I thought that too. Maybe for a sec. Not anymore, though. There's just... There's a lot of bops out there. I will say, when they yell at me, when W&W &W yells at me, 
to go to the left and then go to the right. I'm going to the left and the right every f***ing time. Avicii and Avicii, wow. They're a solid appetizer. I'm going to say it because I think w and is better than Timmy Trumpet. Zed's dead. They're goaded with the sauce. I There's nothing to say. I think Zed's dead is still innovating. I think they're... They will forever be the best in dubstep in my eyes, outside of like Skrillex. Zed's Dead is one of my favorite. I I won't miss a Zed's Dead set. If it's there, I'll see it. Unless there's like some house that I want to see, but you can't go wrong with Zed's Dead. You truly cannot go wrong with Zed's Dead. We got three left, y'all. Zed's a pure f***ing legend. I am not going to bat around that. I can't. Zed is so good. Zed is so good. And you can't tell me otherwise. You really can't. My man's Elenium. You're going to sit here, look me in the eyes, and tell me that Elenium didn't just release the same album once, didn't just release the same album twice, didn't even release the same album three times, but I'm pretty sure my man's released the same album four times. He did. And you can hate me all you want. I'm not, I'm truly not preaching hate. I'm not, but as an opinionated man, as an opinionated man, it's just pretty bad. I'm not going to go as far as to say, how are you still here? Because I, I know how you're still here. I do. I'm just not interested. The music is not engaging, in my opinion, in my opinion, don't hate me, creates an environment for just being sad. It's not feel good. Maybe at one point it was feel good. I will say, Elenium at one point, sure, was feel good. When Future Bass was underground, just starting to rise. Elenium had some feel good moments, but my mans released the same album four times and I, it, none of it just doesn't innovate. The first one was cool. Exactly. Yep. Chris Kantz. It was cool the first time listening to it. Now it's just repetitive. I, I'm not, I'm not preaching hate. I'm going to say it. I'm not, I'm not one to be like you. I'm not trying to fight about it. This is just my opinion. Oh, Seven Lines is goaded. Goaded with the sauce. I love Seven Lines. I will never not love Seven Lines. Slander. I think Slander innovated the trap and future base scene for like the first like two, three years of what they had going. They were my favorite. When I first got into like dance music in college, like I was just like good vibrations, like fanboy. Like I fucking loved Slander. But I think they just like, I don't want to be like they got too commercial. They were great. I might even have to do like this because I know I know why Slander is still here and I do think Elenium is slightly better. I, th I, I would put Elenium over Slander, in my opinion. This is the EDM tier list that we worked with today. I think it's pretty solid. Let's take a, a moment to respect our DJ, Elevator Music from Mr. Snooze. No copyright background music. This tier chart was sick. I think it's pretty good. Again, our like greats have changed the landscape of dance music. I think Goaded with the Sauce have also changed the landscape of dance music. I think the Solid Appetizers have also changed the, the landscape as well. But I do think there are those that stand out super hard. And I think the pure f***ing legends in this case Revolution. are the pure f***ing legends. Nine.